feel that your perspective is right, but in the same vein, you have to be okay with a woman could be missing a blessing. A woman that could be in a funk and not in a good space that she would be in a waiting season. In a waiting season. <laughs> or a woman that's not going to be your crown. She's going to be a thorn. Like you got to, you, you got to, because of, because your heart. The Lord told me that you're my wife. Yeah. You got a lot of women be like, well, he ain't tell me. Sure, but you can't just walk <laughs> up on a woman and you say that. Because that's what women will say. But I do agree that. I'm not just walking up on you. But, 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 but I, I believe if you're like me, him being in a relationship, I like knew. It, me, it, me it, being in a relationship with him, I, I asked the Lord, is this my right. husband? And I asked that with anybody that I felt like I could, you know, I checked off the stuff on my list. I feel like I could really be with this person, but I don't want to waste my time and I don't want right. to waste their time. So let me know. And true enough, God let me know in a dream and somebody coming to me, letting me know something. He was the only person I did not have no scary nightmare dream about. But I do agree that it's a lot of pressure in church culture when right. you're single to get in a relationship. Yeah. I mean, when I was younger and single, oh my God, every grandma, auntie, mama, I got a daughter, I got a grandma. No, I got like everybody was always trying to hook me up with somebody and trying to connect me with somebody. And while you're in a in a, in a looking season, because the Bible tells you, you know, if a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. I mean, in the psychological part of a man, every woman that you run into, you go, hmm. Is she my wife? Is she my wife? Like you start asking and thinking, especially if you're attracted to her. And when you're in the kingdom, it's really interesting because you're not that difficult to be attracted to. You know what I'm saying? Like you're beautiful. You're smart. You love God. You got a, you got a sense in your head. So it's like you are like almost process of, of elimination. Every woman, you're like, is it her? Is it her? Is it her? Is it her? Because your role as a man is to find her. So you like you like looking for something. You trying to find her find her find her and and sometimes you mess up healthy relationships and friendships because you think could and it could it be and if you don't know how to practice boundaries in that and the pressure that church can put on you to be in a relationship i think that pressure comes because we don't just decide if i'm waiting i'm waiting and if i'm dating i'm dating and if i'm in my waiting season don't introduce me to nobody and i ain't trying to talk to nobody when i was when i first got saved for six years, I was in a waiting season, intentionally. Everybody, mama, grandma, auntie, trying to introduce me to their daughter, their granddaughter, their cousin, their sister. I was like, I'm not dating right now. It was my answer. So that it eliminated the process until I felt like I was ready. And in that space, that's what it is. So yeah. But I think, Rick, what you just said about as a man, God, you know, God told me that you're my wife. I think I think this is this is the beauty of the, the responsibility or the gift that God gives us is freedom of choice. Yep. So, yes, I've had men come to me <clears throat> and said, the Lord told me that you're my wife. And I'm like, okay, let me take that back to God. Mm -hmm. No, he didn't tell me that. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. I think that women have to be confident enough and not cocky and not be in themselves and thinking they all of this but like really when I when I was talking to my husband the Lord had to check me constantly do not respond how you usually respond do not act the way that you usually you act you don't know what I'm trying to do with you I just need you to be open to it so I feel that your perspective is right but in the same vein you have to be okay with a woman could be missing a blessing a woman that could be in a funk and not in a good space that she would be in a waiting season. In a waiting season. <laughs> or a woman that's not gonna be your crown. She gonna be a thorn. Like you Ooh. gotta you you got to because of because your heart and because you are open to something, you have to know that God has your best interest at heart and just be there's somebody working on the other side of a decision. And either they're going to make the decision or they're not going to make the decision. But that has nothing to do with whatever God tells you. And the more ready you are, then we got to be done with it. The more ready you are, the faster it happens. 
things. That's true. The thing about ready being ready is that it feels like it's taking forever. But when you're found or you find, it's fast. Five months. <laughs> five months. We was married in five months. Like it was I, I was clear. I knew what I wanted. I was ready. She was ready. Ain't no whole bunch of we need to date for two months, six years and all that stuff because if she ready and I'm ready, it was like we ready. What we waiting on? And so we were both over our over 30. So it felt like, and I had been married before, but she had never been married before. So it felt like it was, but she'd been in a long relationship before. So it felt like for her that it took a long time. It took forever to get here. But then when we got here, it happened quick because the more ready you are, the faster you are. And the reason why we got people that's dating so long is because they dated and they ain't ready. Because if you're ready already, you don't got to date yeah. for right. but, but you're but, but you're not being single. That's the if yeah, you're you, in a relationship for ten years, for you twelve can't be years, found. you can't be found, or they can't even see you in that perspective because they only you see with you somebody with else. them. You know what I'm saying? Like I, as a woman, when I finally stopped dating and I got out of the relationship, I had to be like, what? What, what restaurant do I like? Yeah. What color do I like? Because as a woman, you are a helpmate. You adapt yourself to a man, even if he's not even your husband, which is wrong. So you even have to go back to yourself and be like, Find let yourself. me get myself back together. Because once I get myself together, I can attract who is attracted to who I am, not the residue of the other relationship. Yeah. So the reason why we not even, some of us women are not, or not us, but some women are not getting into relationships is because you have the residue of time still mm -hmm. on you. You got the residue of, of Steve or Chris or whoever you was in a relationship with. So this other man can't see you because he's trying to figure out what, what, what is that? What is that smell? That ain't no smell that I'm attracted to because it's not a female smell. It's a smell of a masculine. It's a smell of another man's woman. That's right. And, 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 yes. and, that, and that man, yes. and that waiting, that level takes a level of faith for you to Come say, on. I don't have yeah. nothing but I'm gonna wait for what I know I deserve instead yeah. of holding on to something because I want something. It takes faith to say I'm in a waiting season. It takes faith to say I'm not interested and I'm gonna trust and believe God. And it takes faith to gather all the pieces of yourself back together because a man that finds a wife finds a good thing, not a man that finds a woman or a girlfriend. So it's like you gotta look like a wife, smell like a wife, act like a wife to be wife. And if you're not looking like, acting like, smelling like a wife, you won't be wife, and you won't be wife if you give it yourself or connected yourself to all other components. And say, for God, he can be focused to find you if he's distracted by all the other females that he's connected to. So it's really like it takes faith to trust God that you're going to find the one. Not because it's only one for you, because it's more than one person for you, but that you got to find the one. And you got to take faith to tell God that I'm not going to spread myself around, not sexually, but emotionally, because I'm going to wait for what I deserve. That's a whole different level and a different design. We got to go. We got another situation. But this, this conversation right now. protector, provider, and a priest. So a priest gives himself to the church. He gives himself to something. So if a man is giving himself to a whole bunch of multiple women, he can't even be what he God has created him to be. He can't be a priest because a priest is single focused. He he, he, he's only, he he's only giving himself his love, his affection, his body parts to one thing, not a whole bunch of things. Even if he does have the capacity for it, that's not what God said. That's not what the kingdom says of that a, a godly man is. He's a priest, a provider, and a protector. But if he's not a priest, he can't priest over you. He can't pre he can't say anything over you. He can't he can't help you to know God in a different way because he has spread himself too thin. I don't even know how they do it. Yeah, you know? I know.